Hello everyone, in this video we're going to get the animated, no, the script, no, what's the best way to put this? The index page scroll indicator. We're going to get the index page scroll indicator and we're going to turn it into a mouse with a little animated scroll wheel in the middle. So let's jump in and get started. So I've got an index page with a couple of sub pages set up in it. So the first thing we need to do is to turn on the scroll indicator so to do that we go back to design and then we're going to go to site styles and then we're just going to scroll down and look for under index scroll indicator so if we just flick this to icon only and then just hit save and then you'll see that we've got our scroll indicator icon popping up at the bottom so next thing we're going to do is go to design and then custom css so before I start turning the scroll indicator into a mouse and the little animation bit, we need to get the ID of the indicator itself and the box that it's contained within. So I'm going to use Chrome Developer Tools. I'm going to right click on the arrow. I'm going to go to Inspect. And nothing happens. Oh, there we go. So what I'm looking for is index page hyphen scroll hyphen indicator. So if I just copy that, I've got a little uh, text editor here. I'm just going to chuck it in there and then just leave a bit of space because I also need to get um, the index page scroll indicator arrow. So if I just copy that one, close Chrome developer tools down. I'm just going to paste that one in there as well. So we'll come back to these in a minute. So this will be different for different templates, these IDs. This is Sonora, which is a brand family. So this should be the same for all brands. But if you are banging your head against the wall trying to find out what your ID is and you can't find it, then lob me a question in the comments and I'll find the ID for your template. So I'm going to get our index page scroll indicator. So what this is referring to is the box that this arrow is contained within. So what we're going to do is just put a board around the box, round the edges off. And that's pretty much made our mouse outline then. So if we just copy that, just minimize this down for a sec, come over to custom CSS. I'm going to paste that in there. As always, a couple of squiggly brackets come down and then I'm going to put border. And then we're going to go with a colon and then I'm going to go solid 2px and then white. So you can see this has put a border now around the box that the arrow is contained in. So um, what we can do, if you wanted to change the color of it, we just change this to whatever color you wanted. So you could have that red if you wanted, or you can put a hex color in there. I'm just going to leave it at white. And then I'm going to come down. And then we're just going to go width, colon, 5px, semicolon, and then height. I'm going to go with 45px on this one, semicolon, down the line, and then just to round everything off, we're going to go border, hyphen, radius, colon, and I'm going to put 15px, and then if you come over, you can see we've created the mouse sort of shape thing that we've got going on, so you can see now it's planted to the bottom of this index page. So what we need to do is just lift it up a little bit so it's not stuck right down at the bottom. So if we just come down another line and we're just going to put bottom and then we're going to put, I'm going to go with 35px. And you see that's lifted it up from the bottom now. So you can just adjust this to whatever number you want to do. So if you put like 445px, it's going to chuck it right up to the middle. So let's just leave that at 35 Okay, so next we need to get our arrow and we're just going to turn it into a little blob and then animate it so it's moving up and down as if to scroll. So to do that, I'm going to come back over to our CSS, just going to drop this down a couple of lines and then get our text editor that we opened before. I'm going to copy our index page, scroll indicator arrow thing. Copy that, we can minimize that down. Done with that now. Paste. Again, squiggly brackets. And then with this, we're going to go display, colon, block, semicolon, and then I'm going to go height. I'm going to go with 6px on this one, semicolon, down the line, width, and then we'll go with 3, 3px, and then I'm going to go with border radius, border hyphen radius to give it its full thing. 
and then we're going to go 45 percent semicolon down the line and then we're going to pour background color spot background wrong right focus background color colon white and then if we come back over to our mouse you'll see we've got our little sort of scrolly wheely thing going on so the next thing is to start adding the animation in now so to do this we're going to go animation colon 1.8 s i'm going to start this one at ease infinite semicolon okay so i'm just going to grab this animation down to this semicolon we're going to copy that and then to set this up for other browsers we're going to paste that in and then in front of animation i'm going to put hyphen webkit hyphen and then just leave it at that and then again come down we're going to paste that in again and then in front of this last one we're going to put hyphen moz hyphen animation so we're done with all the css on this part this top part now now all we need to do is to put some keyframes in to make it move up and down now this can the first part setting it up can get a little bit but bear with me because we can just copy and paste again as we did with the webkit and the moz stuff at the end so if we just come not that i'm implying that css is boring it's a wonderful thing so if we come down outside of those squiggly brackets i'm going to put at keyframes space scroll hyphen indicator and then squiggly brackets now i'm going to come down and leave quite a bit of space here just so we can see what we're doing properly because there's quite a few squiggly brackets to go in i don't want you getting muddled up with all the brackets because then it won't work so i'm just going to put zero percent then we're going to put more squiggly brackets i'm just going to come down the line we're going to put margin hyphen top colon 20px semicolon down the line still within these squiggly brackets as well and then i'm going to put opacity colon zero semicolon at the end is optional just in case you needed to put anything else in afterwards so i'm going to copy from the zero to this second to last squiggly bracket come down paste that in there we're going to change this now to 30 so we've got 30 percent and then we're going to remove margin top and we're going to change the opacity to one okay outside of them squiggly brackets come down again i'm going to paste it in again i'm going to change this one to 100 percent going to change the margin top to two and the opacity can stay the same at zero so we just bring this squiggly bracket back up now so there we go you can see now that we've got our mouse animation sort of scrolling thing going on telling people that they need to scroll down the page so next we just need to set this up for other browsers as well so as i said before that first part setting that up sounded quite boring but we can just copy this so i'm going to go from keyframes to the last squiggly bracket i'm going to copy that i'm going to come down a couple of lines we're going to paste that in there and then in between the at and the keyframes i'm just going to put hyphen webkit hyphen and then again come down a couple of lines paste that in in between the at and keyframes again we're going to put hyphen moz hyphen hit save and there we go we're all set up we've got our scrolling sort of scrolly scroll indicator so thank you so much for watching i hope you found this video useful if you did leave us a thumbs up below if you've got any questions leave them in the comments if you haven't got any questions then that's fine by me and oh hit subscribe to see more stuff like this and hopefully i'll see you in the next video see ya